He shouldn't make me wait. The Spice King is the second wealthiest man in Karth. He makes everyone wait. Of course, you could have avoided this embarrassment if you married the wealthiest man in Karth. I already have a husband. Khal Drogo is gone, Khaleesi. You are far too young to be a widow forever. And far too beautiful. And you are far too smart to think that I will succumb to flattery. I have traveled very far in my life. I met many women, and none that are immune to flattery. The mother of ah. dragons. Here he comes. Forgive me, I had terrible dreams last night. Terrible dreams. I could not sleep until the sun was shining and the birds were singing. Look what a beauty you are now the red waste has been washed off you. I am sorry about all that unpleasantness. The silver hair of a true Targaryen. Zaro Zoan Doxos, she is far too lovely for a glorified dock worker like yourself. Very true. And yet they say that your grandfather, who sold Pepper off the back of a wagon, married a lady far lovelier and higher born than himself. Every lady alive was lovelier and higher born than my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Did my servants not offer you something to eat? To drink? I'll have them flogged in the square. Thank you, my lord. You are a gracious host. But there is no servant alive that can bring me what I want. Oh, she has a talent for drama, this one. So, my little princess, what is it you want? My birthright. The Seven Kingdoms of Westeros. I fear I'm no better than a servant in this regard. I cannot give you what I do not have. I'm not asking you for the kingdoms. I'm asking you for ships. I need to cross the Narrow Sea. I need my ships as well. I use them, you see, to bring spices from one port to another. Whatever you grant me now will be repaid three times over when I retake the Iron Throne. Retake? Did you once sit on the Iron Throne? My father sat there before he was murdered. But if you did not sit on it yourself, would it not be correct to say, take the Iron Throne? I didn't come here to argue grammar. Of course not. You came to take my ships. So let me explain my position, little princess. Unlike you, I do not have exalted ancestors. I make my living by trade, and I judge every trade on its merits. You ask for ships. You say I shall be repaid triple. I do not doubt your honesty or your intentions, but before you repay your debts, you must seize the Seven Kingdoms. Do you have an army? Not yet. You do not have an army. Do you have powerful allies in Westeros? There are many there that support my claim. When were you there last? I left when I was a baby. So, in truth, you have no allies. The people will rise to fight for their rightful queen when I return. Ah. Forgive me, little princess, but I cannot make an investment based on wishes and dreams. Now, if you'll pardon me. Do you know Illyrio Monpatis, Magistar of Pentos? Yes, we've met. A shrewd man. For my wedding, he gave me three petrified dragon eggs. He believed, the world believed, that the ages had turned them to stone. How many centuries had it been since dragons roamed the skies? But I dreamt that if I carried those eggs into a great fire, they would hatch. When I stepped into the fire, my own people thought I was mad. But when the fire burned out, I was unhurt. The mother of dragons. Do you understand? I'm no ordinary woman. My dreams come true. I admire your passion. But in business, I trust in logic, not passion. I'm sorry, little princess. I am not your little princess. I am Daenerys Stormborn of the blood of old Valyria, and I will take what is mine. With fire and blood, I will take it. Yes, my lady, but not with my ships. 